Beep, beep, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day today. Thanks so much for tuning in to the channel. Uh, today, we're opening up two blaster boxes of 2023 Tops Archives. Uh, I previously opened up a hobby box. Uh, you can check out some, go check out my channel and you might find that video somewhere in there. Um, so go ahead and give that a watch if you want to. Uh, beep, beep from Grimace and beep, beep from Omar. Whoops. Grimace is a little lightheaded today. Boop, boop, boop on Nathan the Gnome for good luck. And we're going to start opening these up and have a look at them. I didn't do uh, any like major research on this one, but I did open up a hobby box. So I'm somewhat familiar with what we're going to find in here, I think. <laughs> there are 56 cards per box. Um... There are all the uh, different insert sets that you can find there if you want to pause and read them over at your leisure. Um, we have the 65 design. I think these are from 97 or 98. Um, um, why don't I remember what those are? <laughs> Uh, who knows? <laughs> My brain is going blank. This is not a great way to start off a video. Um, but the, you'll get, you, this channel is full of oops brains moments. I want to say that's... Uh, 1956 tops, I think. I don't know. Um, Michael Bush. Uh, Bryce Harper. Byron Buxton. Xander Bogarts. Victor Robles. Uh, what is it? 1969 Team Greats or something. I can't remember what this is called. That's Brandon Crawford. And it looks like it's a uh, rainbow foil. So that's pretty cool. Iggy Rosario, Ezekiel Tovar, and Austin Riley. Okay, that says on the box, find three exclusive 69 top single player foil cards per box. I think that's what that was. Nolan Jones, rookie card. Uh, Luis Robert. Uh, Randy Johnson. Joe Maurer. And Manuel Valdez, rookie card. Mike Trout, that's on the 89 tops design. And on the back is Shohei Otani. That's a nice one. Uh, almost feel like I ought to, <laughs> even though that's kind of like a base insert card, it just seems like you ought to do it with those two. Cedric Mullins and Jordan Alvarez. Beep, beep. Uh, Seiya Suzuki, uh, Michael Toglia, rookie card, Christopher Morell, rookie card, Trey Turner, Justin Verlander, Shane Bieber, and I think this is another one of those uh, exclusive uh, 69 foil cards. This is Bill Mazeroski. Pretty cool. Pete Alonso and Logan Webb. Beep, beep. Sorry I seem out of sorts. I'm a little bit tired today. I probably shouldn't be filming this while I'm like this, but oh well. Julio Rodriguez, that's a good one. Matt Chapman. George Brett, that's a nice one. Let me see the backs of those. Pretty cool. Anthony Rendon. Josh Smith, rookie card. Freddie Freeman, I can't remember what these were called. I think, think they came out in 1957, whatever they are. Hit stars. Uh, Ernie Banks. Nolan Ryan. Well, that's, a nice, that's a nice card. 
I, I can't remember what the blue ones are. Um, for some reason, I want to say 2003 or 4. This is what I get from not researching. I'm such a dope sometimes. Frank Thomas, Taj Bradley. Now, I did do the research when I opened up the hobby box, but I have since forgotten everything. <laughs> Ken Walter, Chuck rookie card. J.D. Martinez, Andrew McCutcheon, Fernando Tatis Jr. Um, this is a rainbow foil. Oh, wow, it's numbered. 61 out of 199. And this is on the 65 tops design, which I'm very familiar with. So that's why this one is uh, is an easy one for me to notice. Um, I didn't collect between the mid-90s and 2021, so... I'm still having a hard time remembering which design is which year. Oh, there's Will Clark and Jason Miller rookie card. And so, uh, <laughs> please forgive me for my ignorance. <laughs> Sometimes I do like opening these things without looking anything up. I don't know. It makes it more interesting to me to try to figure out things. Because I don't even have a laptop sitting next to me, so I can't even get on the internet to look these up. Casey Schmidt. Uh, Corey Seeger. Clayton Kershaw. Jacob deGrom. Jackie Robinson. That's a nice looking car there. I like the way that looks. Really cool. And here's another one of these uh, foil cards. Pete Alonso. I thought it said three exclusive. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but I think that's the fourth one we've done. Or maybe it is three. I don't know. Key Brian Hayes, Anthony Rizzo, and CJ Cron. Last pack of the first blaster box. Hoo-hoo! Ahmed uh, Rosario. Patrick Wisdom. Mike Piazza. Rogers Hornsby. Oh, wow, look, a Devon White Auto. One of the fan favorites, um, Archives fan, fan Favorites, I think it's called. On Card Auto. Wow, that's pretty cool. Devon White was, uh, uh, he played in the 90s, um, mostly for the Blue Jays. I'm trying to remember when his rookie card was. I think he might have started in the early 80s. Oh, yeah, all the way back to 85. But he didn't start playing full-time until 87 with the Angels. But I remember him when he was playing with the Blue Jays. He had some of his best years with them. It looks like he played for the Marlins, Diamondbacks, and Dodgers. And I, I, I lost track of him after the Blue Jays. But really decent uh, outfielder. Great fielder. Uh, great speedster on the base paths. And... Um, he did he hit like a decent number of triples. I think he was mostly a leadoff batter. Um, but, wow, this is really nice to have an autograph of his. Um, maybe not a big-name autograph for the general population, but um, a memorable one for me because he was a player that I remember watching and thinking he was going to be really great. And he did have a great career. He didn't quite make it to Hall of Fame numbers, but um, still, um, he was a great player. Cattell Marte, uh, Mark Vientos, and Jordan Groshans. So that was pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to find an auto in a blaster box. You don't come across them very often in blaster boxes. Okay, our second blaster box. Is that this is the the last thing I'm gonna open up for today's uh, filming. I sometimes I usually film like multiple things in the same day um, because I usually only have available a certain time slot and it's quiet here in the house, so I don't disturb anybody. Um, I don't usually do them, do them late at night because I'll wake people up. Uh, Generally, generally start like really early in the morning if I can and I'll, I'll film like maybe three or four videos of opening up stuff now the antique malls are a different story and 
Uh, I'll film like what I bought there uh, at home, but most of the filming is done on the road. Joe Musgrove. Thurman Munson. I keep saying this every time I see one of his cards. Put him in the Hall of Fame, please. He should have been in there a long time ago. Tom Seaver. Marcus Stroman. Freddie Freeman. Here's our... Um, uh, what did they call these things again? Uh, just foils. 1969 single-player foils. Mark McGuire is this one. These are not numbered. Eddie Murray. Alex Call, rookie card. And Randy Rosarina. Beep, beep. Okay, Robin Yount. It's a nice looking card for him. Johnny Brito. Brandon Crawford. Dalton Varshow. Bryce Harper. That's a good one. Uh, Hugh Darvish. Dale Murphy. It's nice to see him in the set. He's another guy I think that should be in the Hall of Fame that I think is... Uh, they passed over for way too long. James Altman rookie card. <coughs> Pardon me. Beep, beep. Woohoo! Uh, Ramon Laureano. Francisco Lindor. Alex Rodriguez. Jordan Walker rookie card. Fernando Tatis Jr. And here's our uh, next foil card, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's a nice one. Nick Prato. Uh, Ezekiel Duran rookie card. And Hunter Green. Beep, beep. Uh, Spencer Torkelson. Jared Walsh. Uh, Josh Young, rookie card. Giancarlo Stanton. Pardon me, my pal is screwing up there. Pablo Lopez. Joe Maurer. Brandon Woodruff. Tiascar Hernandez. Oh, this one's giving me some troubles. Oh. <laughs> Every now and then I get one of these. They just, uh, they won't give. There it goes. <clears throat> Oswald Peraza rookie card. Uh, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Juan Soto, Miguel Cabrera, Matt Olson, uh, Leover Paguero rookie card, Yogi Berra. I didn't know Yogi Berra was in this set. That's nice. And Carl Yastrzemski. See, I don't think I pulled either one of those in my hobby box. Or if I did, I don't remember for some reason. Uh, Dolores Garcia. Lou Gehrig. Kodai Senga, rookie card. Reed Detmers. Nick Ahmed. Here's our uh, foil card. This is Alex Rodriguez. Prince Fielder. Luis Castillo. And Kyle Schwarber. Last pack. So far, we haven't gotten any, like big things in this pack compared to the previous one um i bought these um these two packs on ebay i think um no i bought them at walmart online they were having a sale on them uh instead of the regular price they were like five dollars less so i was like i better grab some because i wanted to open up something more than just the hobby box so there's ken griffey jr that's a good one to always have greg maddox is another one uh, Ryan McMahon, uh, Corbin Burns, uh, here's one of these comics cards, this is Jackie Robinson, it's based on some card designed from 1979, Garrett Cole, Salvador Perez, and Enrique Hernandez is our last card, so the big hits are, um, well, this is probably not a real big hit, but it is an insert set, 
for the 89 design. It has Mike Trout and Shohei Otani on the back. And uh, I guess these two won't be together anymore because Shohei Otani just signed a gigantic contract with the Dodgers uh, not that long ago. Um, this is news for me while I'm, uh, for a couple days ago, this is news for me while I'm recording this video, but I don't know when I'm going to post the video, so it'll be old news for you by the time you see it. <laughs> so, uh, I don't even know what today's date is. It's December something. Yeah, we're in double digits now. Um, and we got this rainbow foil Fernando Tatis Jr. on the 65 design that is numbered 61 out of 199. And an on-card auto, fan favorites, Devon White, which I was, I'm was i really pleased with. I'm really happy with about this one. This was a player I remember following back when I was, um, I guess, a, a late teenager by that point and followed him into the 90s with the Blue Jays. And I sort of like... Uh, Sort of lost track of baseball sometime around then. I wasn't following it as closely. I mean, I remember the McGuire Sosa kind of thing going on. And uh, then they had this thing with uh, Congress and some of them lied and about the enhancements they were taking. And I lost interest in baseball at that time. And I haven't been really following it until, well, 2022 was the first season I kind of actually followed all year long didn't watch a lot of games but i checked baseball reference every day the box scores um see what's going on and that's kind of what i did when i was growing up because we didn't have cable back then and it was just phillies games were all that were broadcasted so i never knew what was going on in the american league and the way to find out was newspapers um usa today's and philadelphia inquires and Sometime during the early 90s, I subscribed to uh, Sporting News and got box scores that way for about a year or two. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Take care, everybody. Uh, beep, beep. <laughs>